Hi guys, I'm Michelle Wright with CowWhisperersCreativeCards.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Well, it's moving on Monday and that means we're going to do clean and simple. We're going to be using the Heartland set and you know as a farm girl I absolutely love this set. This card was actually created by Eva Grauer. I hope I'm saying her name right. I was given it as a swap and uh, I'm going to show you my take on this card. I'm going to make it just a little simpler because it's uh, moving on Monday. And uh, it's still going to be adorable. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll set her card over there. As always, in the top of the eye and below in the descriptions, you will find links back to the blog post for this card with all the measurements and the supplies. So no need to write anything down. I'm going to be using our wood textures paper, as she did here. But I'm going to... She's used some watercoloring here. I am going to use some water and color, watercolor paper. But... I don't know that I'm going to do any watercoloring. I'm thinking we're just going to use our Memento Tuxedo Black here. And I want to show you how this stamp set can stand alone and be gorgeous if you just put the right papers with it. So I'm just going to center that up. Remember, watercolor paper is textured. So you want to give it a really good impression. Give it just a minute to soak in really well. There we go. How gorgeous is that barn? I just think it's gorgeous. All right. Now, I'm going to, while I have this out, I'm going to go ahead, I think, and grab my black dauber. And I'm just going to ink the edges kind of give it a little distressed look. Going heavier in the corners. You know I love watercoloring, but I'm just trying to show you how to think outside the box here. If you need something quick. And I absolutely love the Heartland set. So, that was pretty simple. Let's go ahead while we're at it. I've got a piece of crumb cake here. And we're going to use the sentiment. Just a note to let you know I'm thinking of you, which is also from the Heartland set. So let's get that good and inked up. Use my grid paper here. Got a little heavy-handed there. You know me, keeping it real. So let's go ahead and try that again and not rock our stamp. Much better. All right. So now let's put it together. Pretty simple. I've chosen to do more layering on this card. So... Or she used two different papers in the wood texture series. I'm going to do the same. I went with a darker and then a lighter. Just gave myself a nice border. About an eighth inch round for this first one. And then I wanted to do just a one eighth inch border. of basic black behind it to kind of make it pop a little more. Oh, my paper is sliding today. So that's what I've got going on here. Now you can see why I chose to ink those edges. There we go. And then let's bring in our crumb cake base. I did the same thing. I wanted a 1 8 inch border for my basic black. I'm going to put that down. Tiny, tiny border. And then I love this tree. It's pretty on both sides, but I really love the one with just looks like it's been cut. This will go on top. I think I want that up at the top. Remember, I said this has just got a 1 8 inch border, so there we go. And now let's bring in some basic black for our sentiment. 
Don't you love that there's two sides to every piece of paper? It's just cardstock, remember. So this goes edge to edge. There we go. And then let's see. Let's see where I want to put my. I think what I'll do is we're going to put this down. Sometimes you have those visions, then as you work your card, they turn into something a little different, which is great. Line that up there. And then I'm thinking we're going to pop this up with some dimensionals. So let's make sure and not let it cave in. So let's put four of them. here. How far down do I want this to go? There we go. How cute is it? No watercolor, clean and simple, but still an adorable card with all the wood textures. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure and give me a thumbs up. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. As always, if you're looking for an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you live in the United States, I'd love to be your gal and sure appreciate your business. I've listed, I have listed two more videos at the end of this one that I think you may enjoy. Have a wonderful day and happy crafting.